Hey guys, Kevin here, the Tennessee Picker. Coming to you from my new uh, office space. I've got a little bit of stuff in over here and uh, just uh, unloaded a bunch of stuff I got this weekend. Set up a couple shelves and a, and a table there. So I thought I'd show you what all that I, that I picked up. And uh, um, got to go yard selling Friday and Saturday a little bit. Uh, hit a few thrift stores. Got a few, got some uh, stuff from, uh, look what I found over here. I'll do an unboxing. Probably not this video. May have wait and upload it later. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got to hit some yard sales yesterday and today. And uh, to be honest with you, there were a lot of stinkers out there. Uh, not a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of junk, so... Didn't come away with a lot, but uh, here we go. I'll show you what all I got. So, let's see. We got three DVD VCR combos here. We have a Toshiba. One called Go Video. I've never heard of that one. And uh, here is a Zenith. None with a remote, but I don't think I paid more than five or six bucks for each one of those. So... And I have a, uh, well, of course I have it upside down. This is a Sony uh, under cabinet uh, CD and CD play and radio. These do very well for me. Um, I think I paid seven bucks for that. These can go 40 to 80 bucks and sometimes even more if it's the right model number. And uh, here's an HP keyboard and mouse. Um, I paid a buck for it. It looked. It, kind of mimics the uh, Apple keyboard. I've never seen one like it, so for a buck I took a chance on it. I'm not sure what it's worth. Uh, here's a Joy Cam, Polaroid Joy Cam. Not worth the money. Do not buy these. I paid 50 cents for it, and it's still only worth like five or six dollars. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy these. And then here's some little three and a quarter disc storage bin. Um, found some VCRs. This is an Emerson, and uh, this is a Zenith. Has the remote. And then here we've got a. Uh, this is a GE Space Maker. Uh, AM FM radio under the cabinet uh, mounted. This this one would be better with a tape player. It's worth a little bit more, but those are still a solid thirty five forty bucks. Um, I do well with these multi-line phones. I uh, picked this one up for a dollar. They said that the that the uh, office was just getting a new one, so that this one hadn't been in rotation very long. So, yeah, here's a Rowenta uh, iron. I pick these up a lot. Rowenta is a higher end name brand. They're expensive. This one is a lower end model, a P2. Uh, pay two bucks for this. It's still about twenty five. Um, not as high as normal, but uh, usually I get 40 or 50 for those. Um, BCO2 uh, brand new ink cartridge for Canon. There's a Coleco game. Uh, for I got it for 50 cents. I think it, it's brand new in the package, but I think it's only worth eight or nine bucks. Um, these glass ch uh, chess and checker sets, they do well for me. Um, I got this for a dollar. It'll sell for 20 or 25. Um, this is from 2002, Harry Potter, a Whomping Willow game. Uh, if it had been the Whomping Willow playset, it would be worth a lot more. Paid a buck for it. Um, I forget what the comps are, but they're not astronomical. Um, this chess teacher, um, the, the, the chess pieces are actually just plastic. Um, so they're not really worth a lot. I won't buy this again. I paid two bucks for it. It's worth like 10 or 12. All right, moving on. I uh, got a 3DS charger in the in the box. I paid a dollar for it. Um, got this TI-83 for two dollars. This is uh, Batman uh, on tape, the original one. I got it for 50 cents. I'm not really sure what it's worth, but uh, when I need to tape, test tape players, I'm going to play that. At least I can get some enjoyment out of testing tape players. <laughs> All right, so yesterday I got this, 
Camo Leaf Blind, and this uh, uh, Bow Hunter, um, whatever this thing is. This one, this is brand new in the in the pack. This is brand new also. I got this and that for 15 bucks. When I scan this guy, it comes up between 70 and 80 in the solds. So, um, let's see here, what else? Oh, here is a, a keyless entry lock. Uh, has all the has all the hardware with it. Um, so, uh, these are all over the place in pre-owned condition. Um, I paid I think I paid four bucks for it. Uh, I think I can get thirty or forty, maybe. It has all the it has all the uh, components that are supposed to go with it, so we'll see. Uh, I picked up this P90X. Um, I know that I don't think you're supposed to sell these, but I've I've heard several resellers say that they've sold them and done well, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, here's a set of uh, wireless headphones. These are uh, Sentry N N0700. So, I'm not sure I haven't looked those up yet. Uh, this is a Vena Pro. This is Cool Therapy. Um, this uh, doesn't look like it ever been used. So these are around thirty bucks. I gave a couple bucks for it at a yard sale. Here's a family game set. It's complete. Um, has 10 different games in it. I paid a buck for it. I think it's about 20 or 30 dollars. Um, all right, here is a Dell. This is an Optiplex GX260. Now, this thing is a boat anchor. That thing is heavy. But I got the keyboard, the, the monitor, and the uh, CPU for 15 bucks. So the GX260. The tower is much better than just the uh, the flat CPU. Uh, the tower would be about 100 to 125. This is about 70 to 80 for this one. And maybe if I sell it with a monitor and the keyboard, I may get you know 80, 85. We'll see. All right. I bought some vinyl. I know nothing about records or LPs, so I just got the ones that I had heard of. Uh, here's the Eagles, Desperado, The Doors, 13, uh, Queen, The Game, Cool and the Gang, uh, David Bowie, Let's Dance. Uh, I just got this one because of all the artwork. It's called the Tom Tom Club. I don't know if it's worth anything or not, to be honest. Uh, actually, I don't know if any of these are worth anything. So, maybe all that's, that knows records can, can tell me. Uh, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Live Bullet. Uh, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell, with the sticker still on it. Uh, that seemed to be significant when I looked this one up. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. It is not signed. I saw one of these and sold it was like 300 bucks, and I about fainted and then I realized it had been signed by I guess the actor or actress that was in it uh, Prince and the Revolution this is Parade and it still has like the the uh, covering over it it's not new it's been it's been open but uh, Chicago the police here's another Prince album 1999 Best of Jethro Tull, Volume 2. Bruce Springsteen, Darkness on the Edge of Town. David Bowie, Heroes. I'm going to lot all the David Bowie stuff together. Uh, Queen, Jazz. Um, David Bo Bowie, Live. Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits. I don't know. I don't know why I picked some of these up. Uh, Van Halen. I think this is Van Halen 2, maybe. Um, David, David Bowie and Ziggy Stardust, or Ziggy Stardust, and then Bowie pinups, and here, this is something, oh, this is the Who face dances, so that is all, 
the vinyl. I picked all these up for uh, 15 bucks, I think is what I paid for all of them. They, they wanted two bucks a piece, and so I just started picking the ones out that I knew and then offered her 15 bucks. So I don't know if I did good or not. Let me know. We shall see. Okay, moving on. These are Cloud9 uh, bicycle seats or saddles. Uh, got those for two bucks each. I think they go for around 15, 20 bucks. I'll sell them together. Try to get about 35. Um, Guitar Hero uh, controllers. So, a lot of, if a lot of you are like me, I used to think these weren't worth picking up. Um, but here recently, now these are the, this is the, if you can feel focused there, that is the um, Xbox 360 Explorer. This one is wired, so it has a breakaway that goes with it also. So these right here, I have sold, um, I have sold six, at least six of these in the past two months for $65.99 free shipping. I know, that's, that's pretty great. And I build custom boxes for these. I'm gonna do a video on that one day, hopefully. All right, so don't, don't pass these up. These are worth buying. $65.99 free ship all day long. This is a uh, graphite K-Factor, Wilson K-Factor. I got it for a couple, got this for a couple bucks. It'll go probably 35. All right, this whole stack of games here today I got for $15. So Resident Evil Nemesis, this is PS1. Black Label Spyro in mint condition. Uh, this is about 40 bucks right here, this game. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut, green label. If it had been black label, it would have been a little bit better. Gauntlet Legends, black label. That one's, a, I think, about a $20 game. Contender black label, not too great. Um, sometimes when I don't know if a game is good or not, I'll grab it. In this case, it wasn't. Diablo. Uh, Resident Evil 4, Greatest Hits, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 2 Black, and Hitman 2... Uh, Silent Assassin. So, but what I'm most happy about is the the first two that I showed you there, the Resident Evil and the Spyro. All right, here's an original Polaroid neck and wrist strap kit. I'll put this with a camera uh, next time. All right. Uh, this is just a uh, telephoto, uh, brand new in the box. It's by Sakar. Found it there. I didn't pay the f four bucks. I paid a dollar for this, but I didn't know. I don't know anything about them, so I just grabbed it, hoping to luck out. Here's a Honeywell thermostat. This is a uh, a five day uh, programmable thermostat. This was a quarter. Um, I think it's about twenty bucks in its condition. Um, and I thought this was a Fitbit. I picked it up for a quarter. Uh, sorry, guys. Anyway, there's a component in it. I don't know. Uh, I don't see any place to hook it up. This might be the first version. Or it might just be generic. I don't know. So, anyway, sorry. I couldn't get it to focus there. All right. So... That is a Loot Crate. If you've ever heard of Loot Crate, uh, it's a subscription service uh, that is, if you're a fan of like comic books and superheroes and stuff, it's a monthly subscription service. Um, I think Yard Sale Hunter, uh, he's a uh, young man that gets a lot of these and shows them boxes up, unboxing them. Um, that was 50 cents, that was 25 cents. Uh, Probably won't do that again. It's only about 10 bucks, and that's only about five bucks. So, this is a Ghostbusters model, brand new. Uh, this was from 2016. Um, paid a, about four dollars for it. It's not worth a lot, about 22, 23. But I hold on to this until the next movie comes out. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder. Let's. Uh, it is coming down out here. 
So yeah, if you can see that, man, it's coming down. Anyway, all right, one more shelf to go. Okay, these little bird cages I used to do well with. Um, this one's ornate, and it's very well built. Plus, it has the little pan that you can pull out that you can change. So it's a it's a good little bird cage. Um, it's broke up top here. Um, I'll disclose that. But sometimes these will will fetch uh, forty and fifty bucks. Um, they wanted four. I gave them two. Okay. Pair of five fingers. Got those for two dollars. Uh, these are women size thirty, which I believe is nine. Um, it's a travel travel scrabble. Um, all the tiles are in there, so uh, that was a buck. We'll see. I'm not sure what the comps are. These are uh, Hoka One Ones or One One. Uh, these are um, Stinson Threes. Um, I got these at a thrift store. I have to clean them up just a little bit, but I mean they are in great shape. Um, I bought those for I think eight or nine bucks, but these these will comp out at like fifty eight, sixty five bucks. It's a good size too. I think it's size ten. These are ladies uh, keen uh, with the yeah. Well, I thought they had vibram soles, but I guess they don't. But keen does very well for me. Uh, these are. Timberland Pro, uh, these are steel toe mining boots. Um, they're the 18 inch tall ones. And on top of that, they're size 15. So I may hate, hold on to these for a while. I need to clean them up. They're in great shape. However, I paid 20 bucks for them. Not the greatest brand uh, that I'm finding out. So I'm hoping the bigger size will uh, probably just gonna barely double my money on these. Uh, so, I mean, I'll, I'll make money, but not as much as I, like, I'm going to make on, on these two pairs of shoes or, or those. Because, like, two bucks for those, 28. I'll sell those for 28. Um, all right, a coffee brewer. This is a Bun coffee brewer. This is a home version. Bun also makes commercial size coffee brewers. This is a 10 cup. Um, so, these are pretty popular. Um, this one in pre-owned condition will bring about, uh probably 50 bucks uh, if it works i still have to test it clean it up good and everything i'll run i'll run a batch through and make sure that it works uh, okay i uh, got a couple cool little back backgammon games there um i like the leather ones with the stripes down them. i just sold one uh the other day that looked it had the gucci colors on it it wasn't gucci brand but it had the gucci colorway and i sold that backgammon set for i took a best offer of 75 bucks so Keep an eye out for that. And it wouldn't be one of my videos without some creepy massagers. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but these sell well for me. Uh, I haven't paid more than three bucks for any of these. I think I paid a dollar for each for those two. I paid three bucks for that one and four bucks for that one. So they'll all sell. That'll be the cheapest one for probably 20. I'll say 22. That one will be 32 and that one will be 35. All right, this is a Nerf laser tag. Watch out for these guys. These are good sellers. Uh, the guns by themselves, probably uh, 25, 20 to 25 bucks. I sold a whole lot of five of them uh, about three or four months ago for 100 bucks. Okay, I just sold one of these. This is a Super Soaker CPS 2700. Um, it's in pretty rough condition, but it doesn't matter. I just sold one for 65 bucks. I think it was or well I took a best offer I had it on there for 99 can't remember what I took for it now I'll have to go back and look and see but anyway that one and then here is a smaller super sucker these older ones from the 90s do do great the ones that you can pump up and squirt so um, here's a leather brief, leather combination briefcase I did not pay the five bucks I paid two dollars for it but it's in immaculate immaculate condition uh, here's a Nerf uh, Vortex Revonix 360. Uh, that one's a pretty good one. And then here's a clip that I'll sell separately. This is for the discs uh, also, but it holds, I think, 40, 
40 discs or something like that. So, I believe that is it. That is my weekend haul. Um, not too bad for only going out for a few hours, so. But at least I got some tables and shelves up in my office and uh, got a lot more work to do, so. Anyway, I probably, I'll need to charge my phone and want to do an unboxing of the stuff I got from John. So, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.